All right, y'all, so we're here. Um, just want to do a quick review on the water that I was telling you about, um, the black-owned water. Um, so, boom, here it is. Um, it's called 1186 Real, Real Artesian Water. Um, when I walked by, I know they were talking about, um, it, I guess it comes from the ground or something. Like, when I say, like, I heard nothing about it, all I heard was it was black-owned, and I grabbed it, and that's pretty much what I wanted to do. So there's the water, there's the labeling on it. So there's at the HEB, the new one they just put up in Third Ward, uh, Texas, Houston, Texas. Um, I think it was a, a gentleman and his wife there, they're uh, selling the water, but um, the plastic seems a little, I'm not gonna lie, it seems, it's like, I wouldn't say cheap, but it's just like, it's not like a like your regular water bottle plastic, like it's it's soft, it's very soft. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I like it though, like, it, I don't know. And then the, I don't know. Let's try it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really have an aftertaste, but I mean, it's, it tastes like water, but I don't know. It's smooth. It's like really, really smooth. I don't know how to explain it. Like. Yeah, you know how some water have like a like a minerally taste, I guess. Like this is just like I don't know, it tastes pure. I don't know, I like it. It's good water. But yeah, so that's the only reason I bought it. Um, dude said he was black owned. Well, I can look at him see he was black. So, but he said he owned it and whatnot. Like I said, I was standing next to the Niagara water. I had that in the cart already. Then he said it was black owned. I said okay, let me pull this out, put that back, then get some of this water and put that in there. So I came in a pack of twenty four. I want to say it was like 50 cents per bottle. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out because now that seems a little expensive. 50 cents per bottle and it was packed of 24. So uh, I think I threw out the, uh, the receipt already. So I don't really know. But hey, I mean, it's black owned. So I'm not tripping. You know, we got to support our own people. Um, support your own people, y'all. Black, white, blue, green, or yellow. I mean, support your people, you know. Keep, keep your dollar in your uh, in your culture, you know. You, you want to circulate your dollar in your culture for as long as possible. As black people, we don't circulate it that long, so that's me trying to circulate my dollar in a black market. But it's good order. That's a little review real quick. Um, I don't know. I may have some other stuff to get into. I still got to figure it out. The day's still going. You know, it's early in the day, so I know we'll see what happens. The Eagles and the Cowboys are playing tonight, so I don't know. I may have to go check that out. By the time y'all see this video... I mean, y'all already know who won the game, but um, I gotta go see that tonight. I may stay home and watch that, or I may go out. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out right now. But um, yeah, if y'all in the Texas, Houston, Texas area, and you're by the medical center, you want some HEB, I mean, some black owned water, it's at HEB right there, all right? There's it right here. We'll get you some. It's not that bad. I got some in the refrigerator. I mean, this. This uh this room temperature water right now, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste a lot better when it's cold or over some ice or something like that. So, you know, we'll go from there. Uh bye. Um uh, I'll catch you on a second. Remember drink water and mind your business. Uh bye. But um we'll be right back. Woo! Was that a game or was that a game? Man, um the Eagles got the dub. Um so next week we gotta win at um win with the New York Giants and we gotta hope the the Cowboys lose against um the Redskins. That's what we gotta hope. So I was trying to lay my hair down a little bit. It was looking kinda crazy. Ooh. Oh wow, those look good. Those look real good. So yeah, so that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to focus on this game. This is a big game for me. That's why I wasn't, you know, vlogging throughout the whole thing. I was trying to focus. But I got that, uh got the dub. Yes, yeah, sir. Got that dub. Um, See, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to get into tonight. I'm not really sure. I'm a homeboy. Uh, invited me out to go somewhere, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to turn the house. I don't know if I want to make these new, uh, these new Beyond Beyond Meat burgers or sausages tonight. I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of confused. But if I go out, then I'm gonna drink, and I don't really feel like drinking at all. Even though I can't say no when I'm out, but I mean when I'm out, I'd be like, yeah, might as well. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to check back in with y'all in a few minutes, though. Unless y'all know what I get into. Y'all see what we got going on. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll fool with y'all in a second. Oh, bye. Oh, Vlogmas Day 22.
Cowboys host Washington. Watch me watch. If Philly wins against New York, they Vlogmas Day 22. Oh, bye. Definitely had a finesse real quick, so um, just pulled up to the spot to meet up with my homeboy real quick. Gonna walk outside here, see what this thing is hitting for. You know how I get down, so I say we do that real quick. I'm not gonna bring my camera inside, but I'm gonna get some shots on my cell phone. We'll kick it like that. I had to tell them boys I work here. Damn near do. I be here all the time. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Bye.